Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to talk about Facebook Rooms. How can you use this brand new feature or update or a product from Facebook? Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this. So Facebook released or announced that they're working on Facebook Messenger Rooms, which is kind of similar to Zoom. So instead of using Zoom, they want people to use their own video meeting and video conferencing tool. And now it's available. I saw this yesterday and I was super excited to test this. It looks like this right now. So on when you go to your Facebook and maybe you have to refresh and you can actually get on both uh, desktop and also on your mobile device. Uh, on Right on the top of your newsfeed, you're going to see an option called Create Room and then Ali's room and then there are different options right here and let's do a quick demo because I want to show you how this thing works and you can create a room invite people have video conversation with them just kind of similar to zoom and I know some of you guys have concerns about zooms and their privacy and the, all the challenges they had recently so maybe this is a good option to try especially for you know one-on-one -on -one meetings or even like group meeting it's it's a great alternative to zoom all right now let's jump into this let's do a quick I'll create a room and then we'll do a quick demo how about that all right so First of all, when you go to your Facebook, and right now I'm on the desktop, we'll do, we, we will look at the, the mobile too uh, later uh, in this video. But right now I'm on the desktop and I see create room option right here and all these rooms. So I'm gonna click on create and let's look at different options. So when I do that, here are different options. And here's another thing. I think this is the Facebook just released this. Yes, I got this option or this feature yesterday, but I believe they will improve it. They will probably add more uh, features. Uh, they will remove all the kinks from it uh, you know, in coming weeks and months, but I'm super excited about this product. All right, so create your room. So there are three sort of like options, right? The first one is room activity. So when you go inside there, this is kind of like, you know, what is the room about? You know, just hanging out you know a graduation party happy hour so you kind of kind of pick the you know what your meeting or room is about kind of like title so to speak so for me i'm just gonna say ali's room it's my room right all right let's go to number two this is really important so who do you want to invite to your room a couple of options here if you select your friends all your friends can see and join this room for facebook so you know if you want to do that then select that if you don't then make sure you don't have this selected because then everyone some of you guys may have like hundreds and thousands of people on Facebook so you want to be careful who you invite so in my case I want to test it with specific people because I like to do you know one-on-one -on -one chats with sometimes consulting clients or coaching that I'm doing with my students or I'm doing like you know podcast interviews or video interviews and we used to use zoom but now I'm super excited I'm, I think of some of those uh, conversation I'm gonna move to messenger rooms now so let's click on specific people and I'm gonna say invite friends so and now I have a list of friends I want to invite Nolan my friend to the messenger rooms and then click on invite and now the the third thing is so we look at the room activity then who is invited so right now I invited one person you can invite more than one too start time you can schedule this and in my case I want to start right now and then uh, invited friends will see your room at the top of the newsfeed and coin, uh, can join from there now I'm gonna click on create room so when I click on create room basically it's gonna open up a window like this and here is more information so I can invite more people I can share the link to my room let's say I change my mind I want to in addition to Nolan and I want to invite more people so I can do that I can also edit and you know when I'm done I can uh, end the room an important thing is friends have to wait until you join so I have to join first and then my friends will be able to join so I'm gonna click on join and then join as Ali Mirza and now let's uh, wait for my friend Nolan. Let's see if he sees that and uh, he might be able to join us here for a quick chat. There you go. <laughs> hey Ali, how's it going? I'm great, Nolan. How are you? Good seeing you, man. Awesome. Yeah, I'm doing a quick, uh, quick demo of the the messenger uh, rooms for my YouTube audience. Just a quick. Uh, 
uh, it's gonna be I feel it's gonna be a good alternative to people who do not want to use zoom anymore because of their privacy concern well the thing is a lot of people are concerned about Facebook's their their privacy too right <laughs> but I think it's still gonna be another option any what are your thoughts have you used zoom recently uh, what do you think of it yeah I've, I've been they had some uh, a round table type of thing on zoom mm -hmm. um, and, and like you said it's kind of a competition between who can who can uh, be the uh, least uh, or, or who can who can be better with privacy mm -hmm. and then the other for me for what I'm looking for is uh, the desktop capabilities which I haven't, I haven't used this on I'm, I'm on my mobile right now so uh, mm -hmm. things like screen sharing and, and presenting and, and some of the some of the other uh, features yeah so I think that's pretty cool because I right here guys so here's the if I want to share my screen I can do that I can uh, you know see everyone right now it's two of us so I can see everyone who's in the room uh, I can also lock the room which means no one will be able to to enter and then you know uh, turn off the video and mute the microphone there so their options that seems like it's very similar to zoom and I'm sure because they they launched this product yesterday so I'm sure in coming weeks and months they're gonna improve this a lot and the cool thing is I'm calling from my desktop and you're attending from mobile so it seems like they it's pretty like a smooth workflow oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right Nolan thank you so much for joining us thank you for uh, for your time and uh, I will catch up with you later okay have a good one all right take care bye all right so that's how this, uh, the messenger room call works. I'm gonna click on uh, the rate, the quality. It was good, so I'll just kind of say excellent. And this is it. So it was pretty cool and a uh, pretty smooth experience for me because I made the call. I invited Nolan from desktop and he was able to join uh, from his mobile device. Now, uh, next, I'll show you guys how you can also, because you have the messenger room options uh, available on your mobile device as well so I'll quickly show you how you can actually create different rooms and we won't make a, a call like this one I don't want to bother Nolan again but I'll show you how to go where to go find in your Facebook mobile app how can you uh, use the messenger rooms all right now let's look at how to use the Facebook messenger rooms on your mobile device here I am on my iPhone and let's go to my Facebook. And by the way, if you're not seeing the messenger rooms in your Facebook, uh, make sure you update your app. Go to your iPhone uh, iOS store or uh, Google Play store and update the app. Um, and you might see it, the messenger rooms. All right, so look at this. So the first row that you see right here is the rooms. And then the second one is the stories. And then it continues on to the regular newsfeed. So Facebook is really pushing the rooms. I think they really want to compete with Zoom and other online video conferencing tools. All right, let's do a quick demo of how you can set up the uh, messenger rooms from your mobile device. It's very similar to if you've done it on your desktop, it's the experience is very similar to uh, um, uh, it's very similar on the mobile device as well. All right, so what I want to do is I'll go click on Ali's room and get started create. So let's start creating a room. And again, it's a three-step process, room activity, and then who's invited and then what time, right? Those are the three steps you need to do to create your room to start the video uh, call. So the first one, let's go inside the room activity. And by the way, I love this. I think uh, this is really helpful. You can kind of create a title for your room. Uh, for example, if I was having a graduation party and maybe I want to invite all of my friends, having that title on the room is really helpful because then people can pick and see what the room is about and then they can decide to join it or not. All right, so uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to leave it to Ali's room. That's great. Let's go back. Now, who is invited? So very important, you know, I would say because a lot of this, I believe this is where people will make some mistakes. So they will leave it public to all of their friends and they will not expect people to join and they have all these people joining into their rooms. <laughs> so be very careful. Do you want everyone, all of your friends to see this, which was the first option? The second one is specific people. So in this case, I want specific people and then you can go through. Uh, 
the list of your friends. And look at the note at the bottom of the screen. You can also skip this step and invite others by sharing the link. So I don't have to select anyone here. Once I do create my room, I can invite people into my room by sharing the link. That's also very helpful. So all right, for the purpose of this demo, because on, on the desktop, we saw how I invited my friend Nolan to come join me. On a mobile device, I'll just skip it. All right, and now step number three is the start time. And again, you have option of starting it right now, or you can schedule it in the future. So for now, now is good. For now, now is good. <laughs> all right, so once you're done with all three steps, your room activity, you decide who's invited, and also what's the start time, I am gonna click on create room. And right now, no one is gonna be invited. Uh, no invitation will be sent because I didn't select anyone. I will be able to uh, invite people by sharing the link. So I, do I wanna create a post about this? I don't, so I'm gonna click uh, cancel and the discard post. And let's go back and you see how right now my room, it used to say create room, but now it says join, which means I have activated or I have created my room. Right now, no one's in it yet because I have to join my own room first and then invite other people or people who are already invited. They will be able to join after I have entered my own room. And that's it, guys. So this is how you use Facebook Messenger rooms on desktop and also on your mobile device. And I'm sure they're going to update the product in future. They add more features, more uh, updates. And as they do it, I'll be I'll make sure to cover that again and create another video for you guys. If you guys have any questions so far, leave those questions below in the comments and I will be more than happy to read them and then provide my insight. Before you go, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. Go test out Facebook Messenger Rooms, especially if you are not comfortable using Zoom. So this could be a good option. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.